why does the AFAG support the EC? Well, Bernard, I think first of all, let me commend the uh, 18 civil society organizations for what they are doing. Um, for me, I think that um, that is the role of civil societies in every mm -hmm. um, civilized society, mm -hmm. um, for want of word. Um, but it's important that we appreciate what is happening here. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, and just a simple illustration, Bernard, we all use iPhones. Mm -hmm. We all use iPhones. And we know that uh, virtually every year or every other year, there's a new iPhone that comes into the system. I mean, so you can have an iPhone 7 that supports an upgrade. Let's say our iOS 13 that has come. The iPhone 7 supports it. But if a new iOS is introduced, let's say iOS 14, they can... It, it, it can happen that the iPhone 7 or the iOS um, 14 will not work on the iPhone 7. And that's what it's working is, 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 is a play here. Simply As put, in a new operating system yes. making the so, phone so, that yes. you have obsolete. Obsolete. And, I, and that is what is happening with the, with the... So I appreciate my brother referring to 2016 and all of that. What the EC is saying is that the current verification devices and the current... Uh, system that they have, mm -hmm. um, it, it's come to is 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 end of life. It means that they are not even producing it again. Mm -hmm. Now the vendors, STL and and the other company, their partners involved, mm -hmm. are telling the electoral commission and the whole country that um, our systems have, have come to what they call the end of life. Mm -hmm. It's either we refurbished or buy a new system. So you see, at this point, there is a need for the system. There's a need for a purchase. And it's, it's, it's incumbent on the EC who is mandated. And I'm happy that my brother started his argument referring to um, their role they played in ensuring the independence of the Auditor General and all of that. Because if anything goes wrong with auditing in our country, the Auditor General will be held responsible. And if anything goes wrong with ele the electoral process or the electoral management in our country, the EC will be held responsible. I mean, per their own audit, if the vendors are saying that 40% of the current verification devices that they have would have to be changed, would have to be refurbished. And they think that doing a cost-benefit analysis, buying a new system will be prudent for, uh, for us as a country. Uh, I think that the civil 40 society groups... 40% of the current biometric verification, verification devices device, system. That which is the device you place your finger, yeah, finger on, on to when prove you get, that this is you. Correct. 40% of the yes. BVDs... Yes. Are, are not working or are obsolete? Well, they, they are not working. They are not working. They are not working. I so mean, we have to either buy new ones or repair the repair old them ones. or refurbish them. Refurbish. You, and the cost of the refurbishing or the or the replacement is three thousand five hundred dollars per one. Three thousand five hundred dollars for each. Yes, three thousand five hundred dollars per each. Good. Now, what the GC is saying is that they are able to get onto the market and buy a new system for three thousand five hundred CDs. I mean, Ghana CDs. So that's no, one. Three thousand five hundred dollars. So, the, so the original one is how much? Three thousand five hundred. The so, original one mm -hmm. to 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 refurbish the original one. To refurbish the original one, it's like getting into a shop, getting into circular and saying that instead of buying a new iPhone, I want a refurbished one. Mm -hmm. They will tell you, okay, the refer instead of four thousand CDs, refurbished one is three thousand. But in this case, I get to the shop, I am told that the refurbished system that I want to buy is three thousand five hundred dollars. I ask for a new system. I'm told that the new one I want to buy is three thousand five. So you think it makes more sense? It makes more to sense to go I for mean, the, the fresher one, fresher one at that the same comes cost. with warranty. That, that is that is more updated uh, uh, yes. and all of that. It, I mean, so but so, this point is it the EC that's making this point or an independent consultant who is who is determining that the forty percent is not working? So 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 the, the EC the EC is making the point. Okay, but it is based on what STL. It is based on what um, the H HSB, that is a partner to STL, is saying in a letter they, they, they gave to the Electoral Commission. And you can't fault the Electoral Commission because in the first place, they do not even have control over their own system. Up until now. Up until now. Yes. They don't even have control over their own system. So if the, the, the person who manages my cloud system or manages my entire mm -hmm. comes to tell me that, hey, your system that you have, as you have it now, you need to replace close to about 40% of them. 
and it's going to cost you 3500 And I sit down and I go to the market and I'm being told that I need $3,500 to buy a new one. I think it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of so sense. So on the cost side, EC makes sense to you? Apart from the cost side, mm -hmm. the, the, the need, do we need that? Do we need a new system? For me, it makes, it makes a, a lot of sense because to refurbish and to uh, buy a new system and all of that, uh, you are adding on. But the, the biometric registration system has more component than simply the verification device. Of course. I mean, so, there, so you've, you've spoken about the verification device. Yes. But there are other things that EC wants to do. They want to procure a whole new system, not just the device for verification. Well, you see, it is, it is because, first of all, and, and that, that was the first video we saw of Jane when she was made the electoral commissioner. She complained bitterly of the data center. Bernard, CTFM as you have it, I'm sure your data center is owned by your company. It's owned by the company. Now, it's important that the, our electoral management, I mean, the data center that manages our electoral system, is owned by Ghanaians. I mean, the law mandates the electoral commission to own that system. And, they and are the, now who owns the system? It is owned by the STL. Still. And, and for me... It doesn't make so sense. So the second component of the system is to get a data center. A that data center own. that will be owned by Ghanaians. That, that will be owned by and the managed commission. by. The and they commission. said they've trained people. They are, now, they are in the process of training their. To manage the, the, the system and then the center. Yes, to manage the system and then.